back at home this morning. The situation is especially tense last night in Brooklyn. Protesters there clashed with police on the streets outside the 88th Precinct Station House. At least one police vehicle was set on fire there, and it told, we were told at least 50 arrests were made in the city and more protests they are expected starting this afternoon. Today, New York's Ken Bufa is in Clinton Hill now with the latest. Ken? That's right. One police vehicle set on fire, but check out what other police vehicles look like outside the 88th precinct. This window is shattered. In fact, you can see the rock still in the back seat of this. And this is one of several cars outside of the 88th that's been damaged. Take a look. There's another NYPD, NYPD vehicle right there. And this is just a tidbit of what happened last night. Take a look for yourself at this video. Protesters and police clash on the streets of Brooklyn. This video is from outside Barclays Center, where hundreds turned out to demand justice for the police involved killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. That outcry now echoing in our city. You can see protesters and cops going toe to toe, even police vehicles damaged with paint and fire. Now, in this video, an officer is seen shoving a woman to the ground. It's unclear what led up to this shoving, but officials say they are investigating. Now, the day of demonstration began in Foley Square, where protesters chanted, I can't breathe. Those were George Floyd's final words as a now charged former cop knelt on his neck for nearly nine minutes. The chant conjuring up painful memories of Eric Garner, the man who died after being put in a chokehold by an NYPD officer on Staten Island back in 2014. Eric Garner's mother speaking at that protest. I think about that day that I was told that Eric was murdered. It's like an echo from the grave. And even when the, the young man cried out mama it's like my son is saying mama do something about this because it's keep on happening now, there will be another protest over in Staten Island at the spot where Eric Garner was killed. That protest will be led by Reverend Al Sharpton. But for now, here at the 88th, this is what officers and community members are waking up to. That is latest from here in Clinton Hill. Ken Bufa, today in New York.